Hello everyone, welcome to another Legendary Garage Sale Find video. In this episode, we're going over what is by far my biggest vintage toy collection pickup ever. As you can see from my shoulder here, I have the collection kind of spread out and it doesn't fit all on this table. I have some boxes actually on the ground here. Now, a little bit of background behind this pickup is I was messaged by a really nice lady who was looking to sell her son's toy collection at a garage sale. Now, a few days before that sale, she invited me over to take a look. Now, upon entering this room that was full, I was completely shocked by everything they had. Now, I didn't want to make it too uncomfortable by, by recording our entire negotiations, but she did let me record the last pickup of what is by far my favorite item in this collection, which I'll show at the very end. Now, her prices were nowhere near what other collectors and resellers would like to pay for these things. I know they're looking to make the most money and try to get things for a dollar or less, but she confided in me that she'd been spending weeks trying to sort accessories, guns and backpacks over several toy lines, which included Ninja Turtles, Transformers, Masters of the Universe, and several others. So she wanted to be paid for her time and research. And with that, I did not really mind because in the end, we made some really nice bulk deals on a lot of accessories she hadn't yet sorted out. So I think in the end, it worked out really good for me because I'm going to keep a lot of choice pieces for myself. But in the end, I'm going to be finding a lot of great things of value in this sale, which I'm going to show you right here. So let's take a look at what I picked up. Okay, everyone. So here we have some of the diverse toy lines that make up this awesome collection as you can see here in the corner we have battle cat from the masters of the universe line with a few of its figures here i don't know too many of these figures names unfortunately other than beast man here because i didn't collect too many of these figures when i was growing up but next to it we have a bag full of mcdonald's happy meal transformables now these robots in disguise knockoff of transformers they were basically Happy Meals toys that transform into either robots or dinosaurs, and they transform into various McDonald's foods. So I got a whole bag of them. I think there's about 20 in here. I might have two or more complete sets, so a lot it up, I think they'll do really well. Here we have a few of the Transformers. Now, I don't know if I have any weapons. I'm still going through all the little accessories I got in this collection. So I'll figure out if I got any more Transformers. Right here, we have just a few of the unique, diverse lines. So this Shogun Warrior here is a Thundercat. We have from the Supernaturals line, one of their figures here. The hologram still kind of works. I don't know if you can see it on here. And this Buzzsaw guy, I believe, is from the Silverhawks. And of course, we have a recognizable blue lion from the Voltron Force. Really cool, because it's the uh, die cast. This figure is actually kind of heavy. Right next to it, we have a toy line I really didn't see much of growing up. This is one of the Police Academy figures. I believe he and his little motorcycle are all that included with the set. Here is a bag of muscle men. I think there's about seven in there, so I might lot them all up together. Now back here, I was a big fan of the Ghostbusters movies growing up and the cartoon, but I didn't collect too many of these toys growing up. We had a few of them, my brothers and I, so I think we had a pop-up gun similar to this, but I believe we had the one that was a projector that projected a ghost on the wall. This is the one that would fire yellow foam darts out of here but unfortunately they didn't have any of those darts because i think they're very hard to come by and back here we have a bag full of what i have already identified as real ghostbusters got several of the um ghost figures and we have as you can see here one of the ecto packs so i'm still working on trying to uh, sort them all out but there you have just the first taste of this collection. We're gonna move on to what I got next. Okay, everyone. So here we have a collection of Ninja Turtle memorabilia. We're gonna start out here with this vintage Ninja Turtle stocking. 
Got a wrap on the cover. And here we have three turtles on this child's apron, which I think is was meant for art crafting, because it's pretty thick material. Now, there were a lot of books scattered about in this toy room, and I managed to pick up most of the Ninja Turtle books, but I also grabbed a few extra surprises, and a few of them have a pretty good value when I looked them up. So starting out, we have three little arts and craft coloring books. Now, they kept throwing in things into our bulk deals that I mentioned earlier, and they decided to throw these in there. Now, all these have been colored in and circled in and stuff, but they're still pretty nostalgic, because I believe I used to have this one. And here we have a Ghostbusters movie book. I think I actually had this book growing up, but like I said, I was a fan of Ghostbusters, so I had to pick it up. Now, this is one of the unique items I, I had never seen before. This is a Christmas catalog that was sent out to the Ninja Turtle fan club. Really interesting piece. I think it might have some value, but I haven't found any cell comps on it. And here we have some of the Ninja Turtle books. I remember having these little books. The novelization of the movie. ABCs for a better planet. This was one of the few comic books I did find. I'm about to go over the next one here shortly. So, but this is part of the Ninja Turtles Adventures from Archie's Comics. Really nice line. I remember picking up a few of these growing up. And of course, we have the Random House Ninja Turtle books. A Turn of the Shredder. Escape from Dimension X. Code name Chameleon. Got another Dimension X. The Incredible Shrinking Turtles. That was a big favorite of mine. And here we have a few of the Ninja Turtle magazines. I remember getting these in the mail in my grandmother's house, and they really were nostalgic. So I grabbed the stack. This one right here is, is missing its cover, but the other ones are in decent shape. But uh, they really took me back because I used to like opening this magazine. Here is the one for the third movie. I think that's a cover for this one. And they're all just all falling apart because they're so old. <laughs> but really nice. I think I actually had this one with the little Jaguar. But this was a big favorite of mine, the one with the dinosaurs. Now, as you can see here, these are actually two Ninja Turtle bandanas. I can pick up one and see the other one here. Really unique. I haven't found many soul comps on them, but they're pretty vibrant and still got all their color. Now, next up here, I haven't been able to find much information on these things, but as you can see, it's one of the movie designs can't determine if it's from the uh, musical coming out of their shells but it does have Pizza Hut on these things they're not in the best shape as you can see here it's kind of flimsy around the feet like it's about to fall apart you see right there but they're really really awesome looking wish I had a complete set but this is the only two they had surviving but like I said I think these might have hung in a Pizza Hut back in the early 90s, but I have this Raphael right there as well. Now back here, I remember having the dark gray Ninja Turtle lunch tray growing up. I had never seen this orange one before, but I decided to pick it up and they threw it in, threw it in for a pretty good price into my bulk deal. I gotta clean it up because as you can see here, it's a little rusty but I haven't attempted to clean it up because I don't want to damage the graphic. I'll move that out of the way so I can take a look at the awesome pieces behind it. Here we have two framed Ninja Turtle posters. I believe this was the design that was on the video game, if I'm not mistaken, from NES. And back behind there we have, I can move this one out of the way, the coming out of their shell poster. They are 
framed in a glass frame, but I don't even see it there. Of course, by the time I got it here, it fell over and had a huge crack in the frame. So might have to put that in something else. But I really, really like this particular one. It's really big. I like the design. I'm not too sure if the posters have a lot of work, but since they've been casing these awesome frames, they have kept in really good condition. So now we're going to get to some of the books I picked up that had surprising value. We have the Nintendo Adventure Series for the Mario Brothers Pipe Down. And although I didn't see many video games, I believe uh, her son wanted to hold on to them when I asked the nice lady. But there were still some Nintendo books, as you just saw. This is one of the old strategy guides for some of the original Nintendo games. I can see them right there. I think this was from the early 90s, if I'm not mistaken, maybe even sooner. But it's still a nice piece because you don't see many of the older strategy guides in decent shape. It's all there. It's kind of beat up, but I think someone might still want it for nostalgia's sake. Now, the very last piece that I was surprised I got mixed in with the books is this. I know the hardcore turtle fans will know exactly what this is. It says Street Collector's Edition number one. This is the reprint of one of the original turtle graphic novels, if I'm not mistaken. And this particular version of this comic was only available to those lucky kids that were part of the Turtles fan club. I think it was shipped out with a part of their collector members pack. So this little book has some surprising value when I looked it up. And I'm definitely going to be um, looking for a good collector buyer for this piece. But this is one of those finds that really, really makes this whole collection worthwhile because this little book will help me recoup a good portion of what I spent on the whole collection. Just to, and then my hands are right here. So there you have it guys. There's some of the turtle memorabilia. We're now gonna get on to the turtles, action figures, and vehicles themselves. Okay everyone, so here are the complete, or I should say intact, turtle figures from this collection. I say intact because there were several figures that were missing either a head, an arm, or a leg. I'll lift this up here to give you a little idea. This bag is full of not only Ninja Turtle pieces, but also Masters of the Universe and several other toy lines. I might lot up these particular pieces just in case someone else can do something with these action figure pieces. So, these figures are in pretty good shape. Uh, out of these, there are a few I might keep, including the Muckman, Ace Duck, the Leo, and the Gator guy, whose name I forget. The Leo has a unused weapons rack. I might sell that as part of my accessories lot when I get that all together. But other than that, most of these figures are probably going to be finding a new home. Vehicle-wise, they're nowhere near in complete shape. The battle wagon, though, has a piece that usually breaks off. It broke off on my battle wagon long ago. That's the hinge for the door here that swings open. This one's still working pretty good. And the door is still in there, along with a few other pieces. Now, I know this raft is missing a few pieces. I think it had a gun on it or something. And here we have the pizza thrower. I got a good stack of the pizzas. But unfortunately, the battery compartment is corroded, which I usually find this particular piece always in. And the hinge or rotating piece that fit right there is missing, so I can't connect these two pieces. Now here, I've been wondering what this particular piece of cellophane was, and it took me a while to realize it was the parachute that connected. Somehow, I don't remember how. I think this, it just kind of stuck on. These little 
tabs here. But I hadn't seen this in a very long time. I don't think I ever quite owned it when I was growing up, but it's still a nice piece. Now, next up, I wanted to give y'all, which I think is gonna be the biggest money-making prospect of the collection, is the box that's full of turtle accessories. Each little bag here is about five bags. It's full of different things because I've been still sorting them out from all the other toy lines. And there's one bag of accessories. This bag has the um, Killer B action figure slash uh, vehicle because he used to put a turtle on top of him. And let's see. This uh, smaller gun pieces here. Got a bag full of little belts. And some loose accessories down here. It's just really full. It takes a little while, as anyone can imagine, to sort through all of this. So, there are so many pieces that I still haven't looked through for this total collection. Once I get a good idea what these go with, I'll see if I can put them with their action figure and have that showcased when I figure out how I'm finally going to sell the turtle pieces, which will probably be last, because I want to sort through all the non-turtle lines first, and then I'll see what I can do with what's left. But coming up, as promised, I'm going to show the video of the pickup of my favorite piece in this collection, and then we'll take a look at it. I think I might have it in the box, but that is really nice. Yeah, I, I'm gonna hang it from the ceiling with some uh, clear wire. Right. And with with you hooks. Can, like so, you can tie one end here, mm -hmm. and then the other end, you might can get you some kind of little piece of, you know, tape or something to where it would. You can figure it all yeah. out. Yeah, and that's really cool. And I'm gonna you get. Got, you got a camera right there on your chest to where. Yep. You set up. Uh, uh, you know, it doubles as a as a uh, dash cam and everything. Right. But this is the treasure that I look for. I try to film myself picking it up. And all of this. Oh, man. It's so awesome. <laughs> this is. My brother has the newer one. He doesn't have the original one. Oh, that's. But, yeah. That is the original. I'm that is put the that original. Box for you. Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll just scoot it into. Well, well, we're going to put it in that one. Oh, okay. We can put it in that. Dwayne. Put I it in that appreciate box it. Right I'm going to get all of that. Okay. We'll okay. Put all the parts in it, or? Okay. All this put in that box and then put that stuff on the top. Check out. Check. Okay, everybody. So here it is. The original Turtle Blimp. For a piece that's nearly 40 years old, it is in remarkable shape. It is more or less complete. I'll get to what is missing here in just one moment. I just want to show you the whole thing. But as you can see, the balloon is still holding air pretty well. I noticed this little fix it patch on it. I'm not sure if this is something that came with it, but I'm not going to dare remove it because it is holding air just fine. The only turtle blimp I've ever seen was a deflated one that someone had left in the sun, so you couldn't blow it up. It was also missing all of its pieces down here. Now on the glider, as you can see, it still looks in pretty good shape. The seat is a little dirty, but I can clean that up. I have Five of the six bombs, I'm not sure if one is hiding in the accessories bags, but I'm going to be taking a look. But one of the tabs for the bombs actually has uh, broken off and fallen inside of the glider. And I haven't decided whether I'm going to open it up to see if I can repair it. I don't know if it was worth the risk because it looks pretty good the way it is now. And this piece is definitely staying in the personal collection. It was a place that I never owned growing up, so... It's going to be going with my original turtles that I had growing up. And I'll let y'all know on this particular piece, uh, the way it stood, or stands, I should say, I paid $75 for it. I think it's a pretty decent deal considering the complete turtle blimps go for over $100. I've seen one or two listings that went for $150. So I thought it was pretty decent given that it's still pretty clean. I'm going to try to turn it around to show the angle from the front, but it's just too big. But it's definitely 
the cherry on top of this collection. So there you have it, guys. I hope you enjoyed the footage of this vintage toy collection. And I hope to pick up ones just as good in the future. Oh, I'm hoping to come across either a Transformers or a G.I. Joe collection sometime soon. So we'll see. But if you like this content, please like and subscribe. Until next time, thanks for watching.